Hi, this is me, Valerie. This is Valerie. Yeah. So don't get confused. This is Valerie. Me. Hi. This is me trying to be super kawaii mama. All the way from Melbourne, Australia. Vintage queen. All the way here in <laughs> Singapore. Trying to make me vintage. Could you tell? Could you tell the difference? Like, I mean, if you if you're confused, I don't blame you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she did a good job. So she's here and she taught me how to do the vintage look. So she did have my face on the right, and the challenge was me for me to do the same on the left. So what do you think? She did the hair after that. I think she matches really well. You yeah. think? I think so. <laughs> so because a lot of people are interested in doing the pin up style, and they think it's really hard, but she's here to debunk all of that mess. Exactly. And say that it's really easy to do. Yeah. Yeah. When we went shopping yesterday, people keep saying, you know, this must take a long time to do. It doesn't take a long time, it doesn't take two hours, it doesn't take four hours, it doesn't even take one hour. Makeup, ten minutes, hair, five minutes. Easy, done. Oh, you're so, Yay. Cute. so it can be done on anyone, it doesn't matter who you are, how old you are, we can make it work for you. And Valerie has just learned how to do it in no time at all. So watch her, copy her, know what to do. So we're using the wrap on. <laughs> Mid-tone of neutrals. Dun, dun, dun. And this one goes over the eyelid. So we use a camel's foot when we do the crease. And we use a really dark brown. And we actually create like a V shape mm. through here. And that's what we build on. That goes to midway across the eye. So where that actually ends mm -hmm. is where your iris is when you look straight ahead. And that's where we do the green. Now, for me, the way I like to do it is then I do the eyeliner, then the mascara, then the brows last. The liquid liner, load the brush up but not too loaded. And I start at about the middle of the eye, work my way to the outside and then go back to the inside. Does that make sense? Keep it closed while it dries because if you open your eye when it's wet, you end up with that horrible black line where it's not supposed to be. So blush on. We're actually using quite a dark pink. This is Max Desirous, and the blusher is applied quite differently to how you would usually do it for a very modern look. All we're doing is actually applying it to the apple of the cheek. We're going to get you to smile. This is the apple of the cheek, and we're going to apply it in a circular motion. Now, before we finish off with mascara and the lashes, we're going to do the eyebrows. The reason that we're penciling the brows is twofold. One, it's a very strong vintage look, and secondly, from a distance, that's the first thing that disappears. So we'll start in here. The pencil that I'm using is Dior. Um, it's actually a powder eyebrow pencil as opposed to just a regular pencil, which is a lot softer. You are, it allows you to blend mm -hmm. a lot better. It also means that you can use it wet if you want to. So what we do is in this section through here, we're doing one of those things that they always tell us not to do, which is create the tadpole effect. Oh. In that this section becomes rounder. Mm -hmm little tiny short strokes and we lift it up to the point of the brow bone and then once we're at that point we take the end down a little bit nice and fine and can just bring the length a little bit longer but we don't want to be going down here or anything too dry queen because that's just not attractive <laughs> We're going to use three-quarter lashes on Valerie, which the three-quarter lashes are a lot easier to use for beginners, but they also, instead of being trickier to put across the whole eye, they're going to put the emphasis on the outside corner, which is what we're doing with the cat's eye mascara as well. So the ones we're using, Face Shop, indestructible. The glue that we're using is 1000 Hour. Um, you can use any kind of glue so long as it dries clear and you're not allergic to it. Okay, when we put these on, we do it on a closed eye, and we're making sure that the longest part of the lashes is to the outer corner of the eye, but not out the corner exactly where 
this is. If we take it out to here, then we're going for a completely stagey anime effect, which is not what you want for day to day. Ooh, <laughs> shiny. <laughs> so she's got her lashes, she's got her brows. Now the other thing that we need to do to make this look work really well is twofold. Mm. Lip liner, mm. which of course is the reddest of red of red. And the lipstick that I particularly am partial to is Russian Red by MAC. The reason that I love this one is that it's matte. So it has no crystal, it has no shine, none of these things. If you want a truly vintage look, it's not going to have any of those elements to it. Okay, I'm going to start with the top and then we're good to go. You do need a steady hand to do this and the best thing to do if you're not practiced with using a lip pencil is little tiny strokes. Don't try and do a great big thing to start with. You're up for trouble if you do that. All right. Once again, contrary to popular belief, we tend to do everything backwards when it comes to vintage makeup as compared to the modern style. With modern style, you never start in the middle. You always start on the outside and work your way in. Here, the first thing we want to do is define the shape of the bow. So given that Valerie's actually got some beautiful, naturally bowed lips, we're going to follow that. With the bottom lip, we start from the inside corner, which is backwards to what we've done from the top. And just at the very, very bottom of where her natural lip line is, take that right down because the look is very, very full and sultry. The popular wisdom is that there is a debate between Russian Red and Ruby Woo, between the two best red lipsticks on the market. We're using Russian Red, so I'm actually going to try this on Valerie and we'll see how it goes. <gasps> if she hits me, we'll know it's wrong. <laughs> Now, the other thing I'll tell you about doing your lipstick, please don't smush your lips together. Because when we're doing this, we want our lips to be nice and crisp. When you smush them, there is the danger that you will smush outside the lovely crisp line that you've made. <laughs> this is the super kawaii mama look. See? <laughs> Makeup, hair, done. It's fabulous. <gasps>